What is up guys, welcome back to the podcast. Hope you're all doing well out there. In this video, we're gonna be doing another installment of Nobody is Above the Law, specifically in reference to the January 6th caveman, who you guys might remember from uh, back in the day. He's not as famous as the QAnon shaman, but he was also one of the prominent people who, stu uh, who stuck out from the crowd. And uh, you can see him over here. His name was Aaron Mostovsky. Now, he took a plea for three different charges back in February, one a felony and two misdemeanors. Now he has been sentenced by a federal judge uh, to eight months in prison for his part. So what did he plead guilty to? Well, he pled guilty to civil disorder, which is a felony for his attack on the Capitol. And he did attack police officers and he stole their uh, garb as well. He was wearing a uh, police garb, as you guys can see in his picture. Um, civil disorder, he pled guilty to, which is a felony and two misdemeanors, theft of government property and entering and remaining in a restricted building or grounds. The civil disorder charge carries a potential five year prison sentence on top of a fine of up to $250,000. Each misdemeanor charge allows for a maximum of one year in jail and a fine of up to $100,000. Now, that was back in February when he pled guilty. Uh, on May 6, which is today, he was sentenced by a federal judge to eight months in prison. U.S. District Judge James Bosberg is the one who sentenced him to eight months in prison. Uh, he said, quote, what you did, what you and others did on that day, imposed an indelible stain on how our country is perceived. You dressed up as a caveman and acted a role like a fantasy game. The judge said, adding that Mostovsky's apparent belief that Donald Trump won New York reached new heights of conspiracy theorizing. He literally believed that Donald Trump won New York and the Democrats stole it from him. New York, every single poll, not just in 2016, but also in 2020, showed that Joe Biden and Hillary Clinton were winning New York. And guess what? They both did. OK, there was no voter fraud. There was no mass voter fraud at all uh, in any state. And there was especially no uh, mass voter fraud in New York. And there's no chance in hell that Donald Trump was going to win a liberal state like New York. But this idiot, of course, believed it, most likely because he was watching all these QAnon channels, uh, QTubers, as they're called. They've all been banned, by the way, because all they do is lie every day and defame people. And they should be banned. Uh, not only that, they should be prosecuted by the Justice Department if we still had criminal libel laws. And and criminal slander laws, they would have been prosecuted, but unfortunately, we don't have them anymore. So anybody can just make up any lie and call everybody pedophiles because we've gotten rid of rid of, uh, rid of uh, criminal defamation law, which you can thank the ACLU for. I agree with the ACLU on a lot of things, but on this, I do not agree. Okay, people can't just go around calling people pedophiles. That's a serious offense. Imagine that. Imagine, and this—that's what QAnon people do every day. They just call anybody they don't like pedophiles. Imagine that that, that charge. It's one of the worst things you can be called uh, in in life. Okay, and they, these people just say it without any consequence. Just call people pedophiles that they don't agree with politically. So this is what the prosecutor said in their. Uh, sentencing memo, he forcibly pushed against officers who were attempting to adjust barriers in the West Terrence area to keep rioters from entering the Capitol building. In addition to his time behind bars, uh, Mostovsky must serve 12 months of supervised release and perform 200 hours of community service. Uh, he will pay $2,000 in restitution as part of his share of the $2.7 million in damages sustained to the U.S. Capitol on that day by all of the rioters. Okay. After impeding officers, Mostovsky joined the crowd breaking into the building itself. The prosecutor said at 12.13 p.m., Mostovsky was the 12th person to enter the Senate wing doors, the area where rioters first breached the Capitol building. Mostovsky stole protective gear, a Capitol Police bulletproof vest, and a riot shield, leaving police officers who might have used those items more vulnerable during the violent attack at the U.S. Capitol. Telling the court that he now feels sorry for those officers, Mostovsky added, quote, nor did I celebrate when any officers were injured. Prosecutors claim to have found evidence that Mostovsky thought his family connections would have protected him. Wrong again, Bob. On January 10th, Mostovsky admitted trespassing in an encrypted chat message on Signal, where he wrote that, quote, his brother is connected to conservative party and my father's a judge. So unlike other situations, they have nothing on me, according to the government's records. So those he thought that he would get off scot-free because his his 
brother was connected to the conservative party, meaning that he's a Republican or something. And he thought that his father being a judge would get him off easy. OK, now the prosecutors did ask for 15 months, but that's their job to aim for the higher number. The judge had to settle between what the prosecutors are asking and uh, what the defense is asking and what he thinks is an appropriate amount of time in prison. OK, so the prosecutors asked for asked for 15 months, but the judge went for eight months. I think that's a fair amount. He definitely was not the worst person on January 6. Uh, there are much worse people who brought guns and were literally uh, planning to kill uh, cops. And that has that has those people have uh, gone to uh, prison already. They've been sentenced to much longer sentences. And uh, I think uh, eight months in prison is appropriate for this particular criminal. OK, but the best part here is the fact that he thought that he was going to be above the law because of his uh, dad being a judge and his connections to the conservative party uh, that didn't work out too well for him because the Justice Department gets, doesn't give a shit about your connections. If you're a criminal, you're going to prison. If they can find evidence on you and you, and they can prove it to in front of a judge and a jury, you're going to jail. And that's what he pled. That's why he pled guilty, by the way, because he knew that the uh, that the prosecutors had all the evidence. There's literal video evidence of what he, him breaking into the Capitol because there's so many cameras there the idiots tape themselves and um, also the text messages show that he thought he would get away with it so it's a slam dunk uh, book closed and justice has been served for this particular criminal and that's the bottom line that's all i got to say for this video see you guys in my next one if you want to support the show you can do so on patreon like the video subscribe hit the bell press all as always peace 2099 in Mega City One. 800 million people, every one a potential criminal. Roving armed judges keep the peace. How in the name of the law? Toughest of them all is Judge Dredd. He's back, fitters. After a desperate mercy dash across the cursed earth, Judge Dredd has returned to Mega City One. They said it was a suicide mission, but he looks pretty alive to me. This is some parade. In the cavalcade, Dredd is joined by the much revered Chief Judge Goodman. Alongside him, the unsmiling gaze of Deputy Chief Judge Caligula. Yo, Judge Dredd, can you give me a smile, please? How'd you like five years, creep? Sorry. Things have changed since you left, Dredd. Nothing changed in this city, Chief Judge. It just stinks more. Hmm, you should know, Dredd. You've spent half your life in the gutter. Watch your mouth, Cal. You spent half your life in diapers. Since his return just five hours ago, Judge Dredd has already arrested eight perpetrators. Come on, yeah, give me your purse. purse. Come Grab on. it, meathead. Huh? Oh. That's nine perpetrators. It sure is good to have him back. <laughs>